wait, wait, wait. That's what this is about? You don't want to raise your number. That's why you won't sleep with me. I don't know why girls care so much about their number anyway. Hey guys, welcome to Movie Showtime. In this video, I listed down 10 good rom-com movies that you might have not seen yet. If you have seen all the movies from the list, check out the other videos from my channel to find out more about rom-coms you might love. So watch the video till the end to find more about these movies and how good these movies are. And comment down your favorite movies from the list and also please like the video for YouTube's algorithm. So without further talking, let's get right into the video. On number 10, we have The Wedding Date. Are you ever attracted to your clients? I know you're curious about my business, but uh, I really can't discuss other clients. Oh, come on. How many of them want to sleep with you? Cat Elise is single and returns to London to attend her sister Amy's wedding. She hires a male escort Nay to act as her boyfriend at the wedding so that no one will think that she is single. At the wedding, Nick convinces everyone that they were really dating and in love. And slowly, Kate feels herself falling for him as Nick kind of falls for her too. And now, Kate discovers the truth about her ex-fiancé which makes things complicated for Nick and her ex-fiancé and after that, Nick's get out of there. So watch this movie to figure out what will happen between Nick and Kate and her sister. On number 9, we have Home Again. You know this cabinet is broken, right? <laughs> you gotta stop blushing. Your face is too cute when you blush, I can't handle it. In this movie, Alice is divorced recently and has two daughters and she moves to Los Angeles to start over after the divorce. When she turns 40, there are three hot young filmmakers who need a place to stay. Alice let them stay in her guest house. One of them is Harry whom Alice starts to have feelings. Their lives goes on pretty well until one day her ex shows up at their doorstep. So who's it gonna be? Will Alice be okay with dating a young Harry or will she get back to her ex? Well, watch the movie to find out for yourself. But how old are you? Like, 30? 29? Eight? Something like that. Oh, Jesus. On number 8, we have How to Be Single. If Tom texts you, wait four hours to respond. I was not even thinking Anything about Tom. Anything sooner implies that you're needy and really codependent and incapable of a simple hookup, which is all he's good for. There are four women in this movie with different ideas about love and relationships. After being separated from her boyfriend, Alice moves to New York City and starts to discover her life with her friend Robin. Alice's sister Meg, who doesn't believe in relationships, faces difficulty in settling down. And there is Lucy, who is searching for the one for her. Well, this movie is full of love connections, romance, hookups, and one night stands, which teaches about that is the right way to be single. Okay, you haven't been single for that long. Yeah. You gotta go around the board. Pass, go, collect 200 On number seven, we have drinking buddies. You don't say soy cheese, I don't say mayo. We're adults. I've been, oh, you are the worst. Luckily, I got it. <laughs> Look at you, you're a pirate. Luke and Kate are co-workers and best friends and they spend their nights drinking together. They both are already in a relationship with Jill and Chris. But as time goes by, they are getting closer and closer which makes them rethink the relationship they already have. And one day, both couples go on a trip which makes them realize who they should be with. Will there be a mutual attraction or it's just friendship? <laughs> you have lost every hand. You are down a thousand dollars. I am yet to see my card. On number six, we have two night stand. Get on that dating site, pick a cute guy. No drinks, no dinner, just a hookup. D it's okay, you can't order it. It's not edible arrangements. Uh, yeah, you can. You have tits and the internet. In this movie, Megan and Alec met on our dating side and they decided to have a one night stand. But unfortunately, due to the snowstorm, they got stuck in the house and were forced to spend the time together. However, this gave them a good amount of time for them to discuss things and discover about themselves, which made the one night stand to be a two night stand. But will it be only two night stand or will it be more? Watch the movie to find that out and I have to mention that the comedy and romance in this movies are very good. I sound like a computer virus. On number five, we have an upset. Whose car is this? Oh, Tess is getting hers fixed. This is a rental. Oh, so why do you have it? I'm letting her drive mine. She likes it better. 
In this movie, Eva is a divorced woman and also a single parent. She meets a sweet and funny guy, Albert. As they start spending time together, they start to like each other. Eva meets Albert's ex-wife, Marianne, and learns some things about Albert, which makes her think and doubt her feelings towards Albert. Watch the movie to find out more about how the movie ended. I'm so, so, so sorry. I know this sounds corny, but you broke my heart. On number 4, we have Chasing Liberty. Anna is the daughter of the US president and is always guarded, but she always wanted to have an ordinary life like other girls of her age. Anna makes a deal with her father to have only two gods when they go to attend a concert in Prague. Here she escapes from the gods and runs away with Ben, a photographer who keeps his identity a secret. They travel together to explore Europe and then later she gets to know about Ben. Watch the movies to find out about the rest. On number 3, we have What's Your Number? It. What are the chances? It, it's brilliant to see you. It is brilliant. This romantic comedy movie is all about a woman who is struggling to find the perfect guy for her. Ali breaks up with her boyfriend Drake and she comes to know that if she has more than 20 boyfriends, it's difficult to get the right guy. So as her number of exes is very close to the number 20, she decided to find the perfect guy from the past so that the number does not exceed 20. So she gets help from Colin, her neighbor who is a musician and moves in with her. But things don't get along with the plan as she realizes that the reasons for not being with all her exes when she gets close with Colin. Oh, I liked Evan. He's adorable. And so are his wife and kids. On number two, we have Maid of Honor. Sorry. He dunks the ball. <laughs> That was awesome! Brother, it looks like he's gonna be more competition yeah, than I know, you I know, I know, I know. Tom is a guy with a lot of friends, but he has only one best friend, that is Hannah. Tom hooks up with a lot of women and never gets into a relationship. But when he starts to think that he might have feelings for Hannah, Hannah surprises Tom by saying that she got engaged to a rich guy, Colin, and asked him to be the maid of honor. And what will he do next? Will Tom try to impress her and change her mind, or is he gonna give up? Mm. My boy's got mad cow disease. On number one, we have the five year engagement. One, two, three. Uh, fucking hell! You know, he is a moron! Yeah. You may kiss the bride. This is a rom com that shows the things that are gonna happen when you postpone the wedding after an engagement. So, here Tom and Violet are a couple and got engaged. After that, Violet skips admission into the university, which makes them postpone their wedding for years. But after years pass by, when they are finally about to plan their wedding, Violet confesses something which makes Tom lose their faith in their relationship and the wedding gets cancelled. Check out the movie to know whether they are gonna get married at last or not. I think you I thought you'd always want to gain sex. <laughs> you know, sometimes the biggest balls are the ones left unused. What the fuck did you say? That's it for today guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like and share this video with your friends. Also, in the coming days, I'll post more about movie recommendations, about summer romance and movies for the 4th of July. So stay tuned for that and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so that you won't miss out the future updates. Peace.